no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending We got no plans This is your moment of clarity review of everything that happened in yesterday's election First, we learn that our voting process is still about as quick and easy as a colonoscopy done by an alcoholic Edward Scissorhands. Many votes were suppressed, and many of the computer voting machines made HAL from 2001, a space odyssey, look gregarious. There were many flaws. I mean, the optical scanner had trouble reading my vote just because I had wiped my ass with the ballot, and I refuse to believe I'm the first to do that, so these voting machines need to be ready for it. Unfortunately, last night was also a bad night for rape and racism. I'm... I I mean the Republicans. Todd Aiken was told by the voters of Missouri that no means no, he's not a legitimate congressman, and that female bodies do indeed have a way of shutting him the f*** down. Representative Murdoch was shown that it was God's will to have Joe Donnelly kick the living f*** out of him. Linda McMahon, despite spending millions of her world wrestling fortune on her Connecticut Senate race, took a face plant into the turnbuckle. Elizabeth Warren proved there are at least a few good guys still out there, and many of them are women. And George Allen, Mr. Macaca himself, was seen this morning quietly weeping and taking the decorative nooses down off the wall of his campaign headquarters. Marriage equality passed in several states, proving that Glenn Beck was right that the gay agenda will not be stopped. Soon these heathens will run the world and they'll paint the White House rainbow colored and turn the White House basketball court into a room for No, really, when you take a step back and look at the rape thing and the marriage equality thing together, yesterday Americans stood up for relationships of the consensual kind and stood up against relationships of the non-consensual kind. And just like Back to the Future, it's about time. Colorado and Washington legalized pot, and it makes sense because if you're gonna force us to live in this commoditized, corporatized, plastic hell of craptastic merchandise, then the least you could do is, is, is allow us to dull the pain with a puff of a joint. And when you look at the downfall of the anti-women candidates, the rise of pot legalization, and the rise of marriage equality at the same time, last night was huge for the idea that adults should be in control of their own bodies and love whoever they want to love. President Obama gave a stirring acceptance speech in which he said the country thanked everyone who took part in this debate. However, let's not forget that Green Party candidate Jill Stein tried to take part in one of the presidential debates and was arrested and chained to a chair for eight hours. So I'm just saying the country has a bit of a weird way of thanking people for participating. I guess what Obama meant to say is he'd like to thank the one percenters who took part in the debate and some riffraff also tried to take part, but we carefully locked them away. Unfortunately, last night was also a loss for some very important ideas that were essentially never mentioned, like climate change, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, ending Citizens United, ending drone bombing, ending the assault on whistleblowers like Bradley Manning, getting money out of politics completely, and creating some sort of pedophile registry style web page to keep track of people who take the Bible literally. All of these things were passed over and we don't have a lot of time left to keep ignoring them. So let's get to work. That's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.